this morning from my campsite. I was supposed to have water but didn't, so a little thirsty, but not too bad. So I'm going to grab some water and have my breakfast here. Ooh, uh, I'll be going over a pass today. Hopefully this warm weather stays. I really don't know what the weather is because I've had no service. But I will definitely find out once I get up there. Hard to say. I just like how the leaves are changing. <laughs> and you can see all the colors in one spot. <laughs> I am climbing up Piper's Pass. No idea what to expect up here. Still got quite a ways. Just hitting the base of it. So we will see when I get up here. Uh, someone's being funny. <laughs> By the end of today, I will be less than 200 miles away from the end. Which is pretty crazy. And I will have done 70 miles in the past three days. Just to put it in perspective. So not many days left. I popped out of the green tunnel. Beautiful. for days. Chaw. <laughs> Some great colorage. Yeah. That's a beautiful little, beautiful little peaceful lake over here. green and clear pretty that would be fun to swim in in the summer so this lake is called deception lake it's beautiful At the top of Piper Pass. This is about it. <laughs> now I'm gonna head down. This is the highest point I'll hit today before going into Leavenworth. Pretty excited about it. Love that town. 
very minimal patches of snow. It's pretty, pretty easy up here at the moment. <laughs> So last you saw, I had done Piper Pass, and I think I might have filmed a little bit past that, but it got really, really rainy and nasty, and I was too scared to pull out my phone. I got soaked, and by the time I made it to Highway 2, I felt awful. Um, I was going to go into Leavenworth and uh, enjoy the town, but do not feel good. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's hopefully not Jardia. Um, I, extremely nauseous, fevery, um, f food does not sound good at all, which is not a good sign, <laughs> especially for a hiker. Um, so Batman came and picked me up, and instead of going to Leavenworth, I am back home right now with my kitty, trying to help me feel better. Um, I don't know if it's a bit of malnutrition. Uh, I kind of felt this way at the end of the AT, so I picked up some uh, prenatal pills, which sounds kind of strange, but um, they're just loaded, packed with everything helpful when your body's just broken down. So I'm hoping those help. So just lots of water, and uh, the weather's supposed to clear tomorrow for like a good four-day stretch, so I really, really wanted to get back on trail by the morning, but as I feel right now... I just, I don't know that that can happen. So on another note, I got a message from Ivy Tat. Uh, he was stuck in a blizzard about two miles from Highway 2. Uh, I told him to let me know when he got there, if he needed a ride. And uh, uh, the road's closed because of an accident. He sent me this picture and said that it was not fun up there. And uh, talked to Sir Loin and some other people have been hiking around. And people are talking about dropping out. So I don't know, it's kind of a mess right now. Um, I definitely don't want to go back up there alone. And I definitely don't want to go back up there not feeling good. I need my appetite to get energy back. Just obviously, I need to eat. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> anyway, but I am just here in the middle of the day on a zero. And I wanted to be enjoying Oktoberfest in Leavenworth, but instead, I'm feeling awful. So, I don't know. Hopefully this doesn't last long. And I can still finish the trail. I am currently um, with Batman. We're going to head to meet Ivy Tat, where I was supposed to be on trail with him. But I deteriorated throughout the night and spent the whole night in the bathroom. I'm thinking I definitely have Jardia and I'm going to have to go to the doctor today. I'm not giving up, but I definitely can't go out there like this. Um, so, I picked up some things for Ibitat at REI. Some micro spikes, some Gore-Tex glove covers, and um, I'm also going to give them this emergency bivy because our sleeping bags get wet from condensation in the tent or just if they get wet it's just basically a survival blanket anyway heading to meet him right now i don't know how long this is going to put me out but my mind is in a million places and at the moment i'm heartbroken that i can't go out there looking at weather. It is nice the next couple days, but really cold. Hearts pass. It's five degrees. Um, I'm not going to quit this thing. I will finish it. There's no way I won't finish this. Um, I don't care if I got to do one day at a time here and there, um, even though that's kind of impossible because the stretch is remote. But <laughs> I'm going to finish it, and I'm going to finish it before this annual year, so it's considered a through hike. Now I have to be smart and take care of myself. Um, no trail's worth your life. 
and uh, it's not going anywhere and uh, neither is my will to finish it so it's gonna happen uh, and it'll be great but right now uh, my body is not great <laughs> I am back at REI because I didn't get a fuel can because Ivy Tat was going to give me one and I was sick and couldn't leave with him. Check. Good news is um, I'm going to be hitting the trail again tomorrow. Ivy Tat went ahead of me. Um, oh yeah, I also need another bivy because I gave him mine. <laughs> I was worried about him. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better. I got my pass into Canada while waiting, so that's good news. Um, just a heads up, I'm not going to have service for this last stretch, so that means you're going to have to wait for my videos to come out after I finish. <laughs> so uh, hang in there, but uh, I'll be posting.